It's about 7.30 p.m. on Monday, April 17, 2023. <clears throat> so I've started taking down the wires and uh, in preparation for putting them up for the new division I'm going to do. And uh, oops, looks like we have some running manure here. Looks like that, lamb, that sheep still has not given me any lambs. <laughs> It's about 75 degrees right now. Uh, there's a nice, the air is nice and cool. There's a gentle breeze from the south. It's just another beautiful day. Um, so there was a section of the pasture that I didn't graze. It was between the wire that was giving power to the duck pond and uh, the next row. It was about 100 feet wide and I just left it alone. Um, but the grass there is up to my hips. So that's what probably would have happened to other sections of the pasture had I not grazed it for, you know, a month, month and a half, whatever it's been since I've been there. The beginning pasture is just full of grass. I can't wait to get the, the cows back to the beginning, show you how much grass has grown. Um, this area, there's sections where the grass is way above my knees, probably up to my waist. Um, especially in the last... What? <laughs> especially in... Let me go take a look at it. The last row that we grazed, the last 200 feet. So let me show you what that looks like. The cows to the south of me are making a lot of noise. Here we go. You can see this grass is just fantastic and marvelous and wonderful. Beautiful grass. Well past my knees, up to my waist. Um, it's already got seed heads. So I think this is ryegrass. I think that's what ryegrass looks like. So that's the ryegrass that did that. Just beautiful grass. Um, it hasn't rained for a while. The ground is really starting to get hard. Um, the wet spots are drying up. The pond is still full, thankfully, but the ground itself is starting to firm up. Um, there should be a little bit of rain, I think, on Thursday. Maybe Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, we need it. Just a little bit, just to loosen the surface of the soil a little bit and you know keep things moving tell the grass to keep growing so we need a little rain right now hopefully the grass is putting its seeds its roots down deep into the soil too um, if it does that that's a good thing it'll help loosen up the soil a little bit more importantly They'll be drawn in nutrients and water from down below. It hasn't been touched for quite a while. So that's number 20. Oh man, the condition on these cows is so much more amazing than it used to be. Remember when uh, 21, her hip bone started to disappear, like 20 is right now? Let's even find 21. Ah, that's probably her. That's either 21 or 19 over there. red yeah it's 21 so um, you can barely see the hip bone on 21 just a beautiful massive cow all sorts of fat everywhere the tail has folds of fat let's go look at the tail a little bit more look at that folds of fat in the tail there just a fat cow that's what I want to see Especially right now. Um, the cows have to put weight on now. Let's go find 24. I think that's 24 right there. So we're going to go from our best cow to our worst cow. Let's 
So 24 at one point was a bag of bones. Um, but she's coming along nicely. You can still see the ridge on her back. Um, the hip bones are still poking out. The tail section here is still a little bit hollow. Not nearly as bad as it used to be. And the ribs are starting to disappear. So that's a good sign. Looks like somebody pooed on her. This is my oldest calf. Uh, she has some blood on her bum. Huh. Maybe she finished her estrus cycle. I think cows are on a 21 day estrus cycle. And so you have to leave a bull on there for 21 days, maybe 42 days. Make sure that the bull does its job. Number 14. 14 is a beautiful calf too. Look at her tail section is all filled in. Anyway, just beautiful condition on all these cows. They've recovered really quickly from the winter. Um, it remains to be seen whether that's... Is that some poo on the back there? Yeah, it's like poo or something that stuck to her bum. Uh, looks like some... Somebody pooed on her head. Yeah. Hey, poo's not moose. Okay. Anyway, that's what I got for you guys. Cows are in really good condition right now. Uh, the longer they can put weight on and build muscle mass and everything else, the better. There's some flies on yellow. Quite a few flies, actually. Eh, flies are going to start hurting. Anyway, that's what I got for you guys. Have a great day. Take care and bye-bye.